What's going on? It's KZ here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to send your music to YouTubers. If you have no idea why I'm talking about this, just really quickly, my name is KZ and I am a musician first and I've been able to generate over 7 million streams on Spotify from this bedroom by making music with my brother. And a large part of that has been because I have sent my music to lots of YouTubers and I've had the opportunity to have my music in YouTubers like Kai Somar, Casey Neistat, and a few others. And that has been able to not only generate streams for me, but help me grow an audience that is also growing with me. So a large part of the people that still listen to my music to this day were some fans that discovered me all the way back in 2016 from just a YouTuber's video. So this stuff really does work. And this is a great option if you are, you know, a musician that does not want to invest in Facebook ads. You know, personally, I've never run Facebook ads for my music. They're pretty expensive. You never know if they're really gonna work or not. And so, you know, sending your music to YouTubers is a great way to get your music in, in front of them, but also help you generate those streams. But I will say that this does take some time. You're gonna have to be able to, you know, craft your emails, get in front of them, find the YouTubers to send your music to. But I'm gonna walk you through a little bit more in this video how you can do that. But before, if you are interested in this, let me tell you right now, I do have my full strategy, my full email templates of literally how I've been doing all of this and I'm still doing it to this day. You can just click the link in the description. I've been able to help so many musicians just like yourself, so I highly suggest that you check it out. So real quick, I'm gonna walk through in this video. The first thing that I'm gonna walk through is what you need to do before you send your music to YouTubers. So if you're using something like DistroKid or TuneCore or any sort of you know distributor to get your music on all streaming platforms, you wanna make sure that your music is not on Content ID. If you're not familiar with what Content ID is, basically what it means is, you know, if someone uses your music, a specific YouTuber or a Twitch streamer, that means that they're going to get flagged when your music is playing. And if you want to build a good relationship with a YouTuber, what do you think you don't wanna do? You don't want your music to prevent them from running advertisements on their videos. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is if you are using DistroKid or TuneCore is make sure that you can you know upload to all platforms, YouTube music is fine, but essentially what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you do not click <laughs> the content ID button, right? So if you click that content ID button, that's not gonna be good, especially for what I'm describing in this video. However, if you happen to be one of those people who spent the you know $2 for content ID, you can just contact your distributor and they should be able to remove that from content ID. So the next question you're probably having right now is going to be, well, KZ, if I get my music into YouTubers videos, like how am I gonna get streams? How am I gonna get paid? Let me just walk you through that really quick. So if a YouTuber uses their music in my templates that are available in the description, I walk you through how to send your music to them, right? And what will happen is when a YouTuber uses your music, if you instruct them to do so, they will put your link to your Spotify, your streaming platforms in the description of the video. So that means if someone's watching the video, they see your music or hear your music, um, in a part of their video, they're gonna be like, oh, who is this person? They'll go click in the description. They'll be like music by KZ or your artist name, right? The other area, which is very, very much something that you might have not have thought of is Shazam, right? So when you upload your music to streaming platforms, make sure you're uploading to Shazam. I have a, a YouTuber to this day who uses my song uh, as the intro of their videos. And I literally get like, you know, maybe like a hundred Shazams or so every single month just from that video. So Shazams will then connect directly to your song on streaming platforms. So those are the two ways that you are going to get streams. I have a lot of people ask me, hey KZ, this sounds great, but how am I gonna get paid? Well, that's one thing that you have to be okay with when you are sending your music to YouTubers. You're not gonna be getting paid for when they use your song. However, you will be getting paid when your music gets streamed, whether it's Shazam, whether they click the link in the description. And let me tell you, when there have been some large YouTubers use my music, I check my stats and I see a big spike. So you've gotta be in this for the long game. You don't really wanna be in this for the money. Like obviously, like it is nice to make money off of your streams, um, but I will say that like this right here will help you gradually grow over time versus running Facebook ads where you get a spike, then it goes down. You wanna create and convert 
real fans and people that like and trust you and actually appreciate your music. And that's the great part about sending your music to YouTubers because a lot of these YouTubers that you'll reach out to, um, they have really awesome people that watch the videos that are super into their content, which means if they're using your music, they already trust the YouTuber, they're gonna go check your stuff out as well. So I just wanted to kind of clear that up. I get a lot of questions about that. Um, the other area of how many YouTubers do you send your music to, um, I would say typically on average, you could send roughly 20 to 30 um, YouTubers a day if you're really passionate about getting in front of them. Don't get discouraged if they don't respond immediately. Some YouTubers don't even respond and they end up using your music. So you have to be very patient when you are going through this process and make sure you're being professional, right? Like make sure you're you know, making your, your messaging about them, like express that you enjoy their videos and things like that. So um, as far as other things when it comes to you know, sending your music to YouTubers, this really does work, right? I have been doing this for several years. It has allowed for me to get consistent streams over time, also meet people that have actually found my music through YouTubers in person, so they still support my music to this day. So I definitely encourage you, if you are looking to grow your streams, to definitely leverage this because it is great. I, I release my templates and my full strategy and so many people are doing it to this day, but you've gotta be patient. So if you have any further questions about this, please drop them in the comments below. I am happy to help everyone that has questions about this and I'm definitely excited for you if you decide to try it out. So as I mentioned, be sure to check out my full strategy and my email templates. The link are in my description. I also do offer one-on-one -on -one strategy calls, which I absolutely love. I have like four booked this week. So you can check that out below along with some free resources to help you grow your streams. I actually have a free guide, zero to 100,000 streams, leveraging my TikTok strategy. So you can check that out as well. Hope you all have an amazing day. And if you have any questions about, you know, maybe what you're going through as an artist or if there's ways that I can help, I'm more than happy to make some more videos and I would love your video ideas. So hope you have a great rest of the day and uh, keep it wavy.